Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Which state has jurisdiction over child custody? Imagine you're a parent going through a tough time and you're wondering which state gets to decide on your child's custody. This is a common dilemma when parents live in different states. Let's break it down. The key to determining jurisdiction lies in the Uniform Child Custody Jurisdiction and Enforcement Act, or UCCJEA, which most states follow. This act helps ensure that only one state has the authority to make decisions about a child's custody. The key term here is the home state of the child. This is the state where the child has lived with a parent or a person acting as a parent for at least the last six consecutive months before a custody action is filed. If the child is less than six months old, the home state is usually where the child has lived since birth, too. For example, if your child has been living in California with you for the past year, California would be considered the home state and would have jurisdiction over any custody case. However, if you and your child just moved to New York, you wouldn't be able to file for long-term custody there until you've lived there for at least six months. There are exceptions, though. In emergency situations, such as child abuse or domestic violence, a state other than the home state can temporarily take jurisdiction to protect the child. These emergency orders are temporary and only last until the home state can take over too. Another scenario is when the home state decides it's not the best place to handle the case. This is called forum non-convenience, where the court determines it's not in the best interest of the child to proceed in that state. In such cases, the court might transfer the case to another state that has a stronger connection to the child. If multiple states are involved and both have some connection to the child, the courts in those states will communicate and hold hearings to decide which state should have jurisdiction. This ensures that only one state is making decisions about the child's custody at any given time. So, to summarize, the state with jurisdiction over child custody is typically the home state where the child has lived for at least six months unless there are emergency situations or other specific circumstances that require a different approach. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on, get your snoop on.